So in this demo I'll show you um, how I took a notes calendar and put it on the web using a great um, website that I found. Um, well actually not a website but code I found called DHTMLX Scheduler. DHTMLX Scheduler is JavaScript, it's small, it's lightweight. Um, the entire kind of presentation UI is built using JavaScript. Um, <coughs> and it makes it really easy to actually integrate it with, with Lotus Domino. If you take your typical notes calendar view like this and you go and look at that on say the web in a browser you're going to get something that look like, looks like this. Um, I can go look at a month view, um, I can click on a day and see the bookings for a day. You can see it's not exactly the um, prettiest of layouts that they have with the default views displayed on the web for this. And actually um, you would think with don't want to 851. Maybe they'd have some new kind of custom control calendar layout, and uh, they don't yet. So it doesn't look too great. So with the DHTML uh, X scheduler, what you get is you get a much nicer layout of the calendar. Um, here I'm looking at a week. I can look at the day. I can look at a month. I can jump to a specific day. And you can see how this looks. Now currently you can see I'm, I'm not logged in. And I have a login button. So it's all read only. I can't drag and drop anything in the schedule. I can't change anything. Uh, I can go back and forth through the days. I can see it. And all this data is coming through from the same Domino database that is actually populating this view here. So let me switch to a screen where I'm logged in. And I'm currently logged in as Carl Tyler. And if I hover over my name, I can see that I have um, administrator permissions. And I can see who the booking's for. I've got some here for Peter Packer, some for myself, some for Penny Pincher. And I can also see who made the booking. Now, if I want to change one of these appointments, I can just drag and drop it to another area. And if I go over to Notes and hit F9, you'll see that the calendar was reflected in the back end, the changes. If I want to move that back, I can drag and drop it. Come over here. F9, and you can see it's it's updated there as well. Now, if I want to create a new calendar appointment for today, I can just drag and drop for the length of time I want. I can specify which pilot that this reservation is for. I can change the uh, time that this is going to change, so I'll make it 4 o'clock, and I can save that, and it saves it. Now, one of the things the system does do is it does check for dual booking. So, if I was to schedule a new appointment here, try and save that, it's going to let me know that a, a booking already exists for that time and won't let me do it. So I can do that. I can't drag and drop something to a conflicting appointment either. I'll put it back. So it stops me doing duplicate appointments. Now if I log in as Peter Packer, you can see where there's some settings here where the reservations were made by Peter Packer and um, the the bookings were made by myself. And if I just refresh this page, I can see the the calendar appointments and everything. Now if I try and move an appointment that I didn't make, then I get author notified that I'm not authorized to make it. Even though I didn't make this one, because the author because the booking's in my name, I can take this and move that and drag it around and again if I come back into notes, refresh, you can see that those changes have taken place. So people uh that aren't administrators can change their own appointments that have been created for some by somebody else, uh, but they can't change anybody else's. What they can do is they can make appointments for other people. So if I want to make an appointment for Mike Vax, and save that. I can say save. Now because I made this reservation, I can change this one myself. Um, so I can move that around, and also if I go back to being logged in as Carl Tyler, and um, I can take this one and I can move it because I'm an administrator. So I can move that around and, and things like that. So that just gives you an idea of how this can be done with, with Notes Domino. And what's actually happening in the back end is it's calling a, a Domino agent that is handling the events like add an appointment, delete an appointment, and an appointment change. Um, and it's not a lot of code. And I'll be looking at making that available on OpenMTF.